Greetings, Internet. Well, it happened. As you probably already know, because most of my regular viewers also follow me on Twitter, after posting a video about the risk of going to a three-day music festival, I did indeed pick up COVID. Can't help but want to try and figure out exactly when that happened. Saturday, Sunday, and Monday morning's lateral flow tests were all negative. So Monday afternoon I was feeling quite pleased that I, it seemed like I'd gotten away with it. Monday evening though I got a ping on my phone. At some point recently I had been in the vicinity of someone who has since tested positive for Covid. And of course having spent three days in a cramped nightclub I wasn't entirely surprised by that. However it was only a couple of hours after that that I suddenly found myself developing a bit of a tickly cough and I suddenly started getting a bit suspicious. I didn't think all that much of it, it was pretty late in the evening at that point, so it was like, man, I'll just go to bed, see how I feel in the morning. Tuesday morning, I do another lateral flow test, and that comes back negative. I'm still very regularly coughing, but I start to wonder, well, maybe this is just like some other illness that's not COVID. Because to be honest, with that much mingling of people from all over the country, that's just as likely. So, but I still figure it's still best to stay inside and avoid contact with people, because even if it's not COVID, I've still got something that I don't want to give to other people. Then we roll around to Wednesday morning, I take another lateral flow test, just to be sure, because I'm still very regularly coughing, and this time it comes back positive. I guess I've never really looked up what the timelines are supposed to be but I was very surprised that you know it was a, a like almost a good 48 hours between symptoms starting and actually getting a positive test but I guess if they're you know detecting antibodies or whatnot you know your bodies have got to started working on that and so that's about it really I'm now suffering my first official bout of Covid but of course thanks to being triple vaccinated and I guess also a little bit lucky the symptoms I'm having so far are you know are equivalent to a very mild cold. As well as the cough, on Wednesday there was also a bit of a mild headache. Today, as I record this on the Thursday, there's a little bit of snot, but the headaches died down and the coughing's almost gone. It's a lot less frequent. So it seems like I'm already over the peak and on the mend. But what I do find ridiculous is that the official advice in this country isn't even to isolate anymore. Like they say, you can go out about your business so long as you're careful to protect other people. But you know, like how am I supposed to do that if no one's wearing a mask or keeping their distance or even seems to care anymore? The only, the only way I can protect other people is to by not seeing other people. Which of course does affect some of the plans I had for the rest of Vida, because there's only 10 days left now and that's basically going to have to be my quarantine. So no more interesting outdoor trip videos, unfortunately. With any means I've got to come up with replacement ideas for the two or three of those that I was already going to do. Thankfully this is one of those replacements, otherwise we would have been at the cinema and doing a film review today. When I started Vida I figured I'd go at the cinema every Thursday and do a film review walking down the canal and so far I've managed one of those and it was on a Friday. So you know, I can't help but wonder if I jinxed myself about calling out the risk of going to the festival and then, you know, that turning out to be true. But I guess, you know, given the way things are at the moment, it's probably inevitable that you're going to get it at some point, unless you can live a completely hermit lifestyle. But as for all the friends I went to the festival with, so far at least, no one else has been uh, tested positive or exhibiting any symptoms, so it seems like that most likely I got it from just someone random in the crowd at some point. I'm guessing probably on the Sunday evening. <coughs> <coughs> That's what you get for spending 10 minutes talking on a camera. So yeah, short trips to the pub and the cinema, things that last for, you know, a couple of hours, fine. Three days all crammed into a, an unventilated nightclub, probably still a bit much. Right, too much talking for today, I'm starting to feel it in the throat. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again tomorrow.